Hi there, I'm Paddy Byrne and welcome to Free Falling Through Canvas Apps. In previous episodes we've been building an easy opportunities management app and we've been looking at the gallery control. In this episode we're going to look at the other controls that the template actually gives us, that's the CDS template that we're using. I'm going to go through each control on the browse screen and then the edit details screen and discuss the controls and the functions that those controls call in more detail. So before I move on to details screen, let's have a look at what the template actually gives us on a browse screen. We've looked at the gallery control and we've pulled back only the data that we want to see. Starting at the top, it also gives us a, a label control. That's self-explanatory, it contains a text property and you can specify the text that you want to display in the label. Next control along is this little icon control. The on select of that control calls the refresh function. The refresh function takes a parameter of a data source and refreshes the data source. So again, nothing really too complicated to understand there. Next control along, these arrows, that's another icon control. The on select of that arrow control calls the update context function. Now the update context function is used to set variables. This function will set the variable sort descending one to the opposite of itself. So we use that in our gallery control items property. Have a look at that to sort the records by descending and ascending. The update context control differs from the set control. So when we use set, we set a global variable, which can be used anywhere within the app. The on update context control sets variables that can only be used within the context of that screen. Next control along that we get is this plus icon. And the on select of the plus icon calls two functions. We can see it's two functions because it's got a semicolon in between them. The first function it calls is new form and the new form function sets the mode of the form that passes the first parameter to new. To explain what that means, if we go to our edit form and look at the item property, the item property is set to browse gallery one dot selected, that will be completely ignored. So you're essentially getting a new form without any information from the selected item, populated it. The other function it calls is the navigate function. That navigate accepts two parameters, the screen that you want to navigate to and how you want to transition to that screen. So at the moment this is set to none. We're going to go to the edit screen one. This transition is set to none. I actually quite like putting transitions in there when I can. We will set it to cover and I'll see how that behaves by clicking preview. So I click that. It comes in from the right hand side there. And then the next control we'll look at is the search box. So that's just a text box. So the text that you type in there, we use that to search our gallery items down here. So we're referring to text search box one dot text. Any types so we type in search box one filters our gallery items. And then let's have a look at the, the gallery control again. Gallery control contains gallery items which have an on select property. And similar to the plus, it calls navigate. It navigates to the detail screen one, and there's no transition. So let's put a transition on it. We want the same as the, the plus, so that it's cut the screen covers and comes in from the right hand side. And it also has this icon control. An icon control calls a function, which is select. Passes a parameter parent, 
the select function will call the onSelect function of the control passing the parameter. In this case, the parent, which is the gallery item, which we just looked at. So I'm happy with everything in that screen for now. Let's move on to the detail screen. Again, we'll just start looking at the controls at the top first before we start editing the form. The first control is an icon that navigates to a browse screen and we've got cover right. So let's just check that behaves how it should. Yep, that looks fine. Next control is a label. It contains the text opportunities. I'm going to change that label to contain the topic so we'll say browse gallery one dot selected topic and just for consistency's sake I'll change the Size on that 21. Make that 21. The next tool along is our trash can. Now, this is one I'm not too happy with. It calls a remove function, and the remove function will remove an item from a data set. So that's going to remove. Browse gallery one that selected the item we've just selected and the item that the this form we're on from the opportunities data set. Now that actually will delete the opportunity from a common data service. <coughs> which being right next uh, here next to the edit tool, it could easily be pushed by mistake. So we'll have a look at that later. I'm not gonna have that, we'll look at changing that. Before we do that, just let's look at the, the edit little pencil icon we've got here. It calls two functions again. The edit form, so very similar to the new form, except that it doesn't clear the items. It takes you to the, the specified form and it populates the information, so it's actually the edit form. And next function, navigate, same again. But we'll put again, we'll, we'll put a, a transition like just because I just personally like transitions. Um, and then we've got our main form, and we'll look at edit the form later. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to keep this dialog there. The reason we're keeping it there is because I don't want to change the template too much, but what we are going to do, well, for now anyway, we'll change the template quite a bit um, as we move forward. Um, but it's just too easy to delete an opportunity from there. So if I preview that, one click. And it's gone. And it actually deletes it from the Dynamics 365 instance as well. So, not happy with that. I'm going to put a prompt on there to say, Are you sure you want to delete this opportunity? And that's what we're going to do next time. So, I certainly learned something by going through each of those controls, digging a bit deeper into what the on select property does for each one. In the next episode, we're going to look at the trash can control and we're going to change that control so that it gives the user a prompt to confirm whether they want to delete the opportunity or not. Until then, blue skies.